Welcome back, everybody. Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds have got the next Corvette again, Group B tonight. But first, business on the table. The 59 Corvette racer after qualifying is deemed unsafe. We had to find Mr. Christie a new ride, and here it is. 1967 Corvette Grand Sport from the 2009 FTE series. Nice. There's the replacement we got and it's got a roof. Joining up the Group C drivers, Group D cars, and winner from last week, Rompin' Roman from MSP Customs moving on to the finals. Tonight's matchups, we have Spy Dude in the 63 Corvette going up against Mad Max in the 2020 Corvette. Scooter Roundwell in the 1965 Grand Sport going up against Mr. Christie in Race that one. FTE 67 Grand Sport. Race number one, Mad Max up against Spy Dude. 2020 Vet against the 63 Split Window. Here they go. Love it every second of it. Mad Max is way out in front. Gets on his lid. He's rolling. Okay, we don't know who made it over top of the line there. Spy Dude stayed on his wheels. Mad Max was tumbling. Let's go check out a replay on that. Mad Max is over the line first, and Spy Dude bumps right underneath him. That was awesome. Checking out the rest of the camera angles we got going on here. You can see him rolling down there. Lots of speed coming off those first two corners, and it's hard to hold on on that final straight. Let's see what the jump cam reveals for us today. 30 centimeters for the 2020, 27 centimeters for the split window coupe. Mad Max is going nuts, loving that. Corvette, Igloo replay, main stretch. 2020 Corvette is one full car length out by the time they get down to the bottom and is just nice and straight and smooth like an arrow over top of that jump. Coming out of the 3D bot maker corner, he got a little upside down. Tumbles all the way to the bottom, but just like NASCAR, you can finish this on your roof. We're okay with that. Igloo main track is a stupid fast track, so we'll reward you to make it to the bottom. 2020 Corvette driven by Mad Max with a 9.80 is your first round winner. Race two. Race number two, we get a lane change. Mad Max up in lane number two this time. Spy Dude, lane number one in the split window. Here they go. 2020 Corvette is still out in front after the main straight. They're getting a lot of distance in between them now. Enough that he even blows it around and gives the old Fast and Furious salute coming down the last straight and Spy Dude's on his roof somehow. Not sure what's going on there. Going through the jump cam, both in the same frame. Mad Max at the maximum 30. Spy Dude coming in at 21 centimeters in the split window coupe. He do replay. We skipped to the replay. Looks like we didn't have a final down ramp camera shot that time. That happens. Anyways, there we go. We can see the vet up in front of the vet. <laughs> Can't do that here, can we? Mad Max just blowing a nice drift there. Little bit overdoing it at the end, but still got enough to slam it into R and get down the final straight backwards. That thing holds and tracks nice and straight going forwards or backwards, eh? Race number two, Mad Max gets it into 2020 Corvette. Team Ace High Racing with Spy Dude is eliminated. Race three. Moving on to the second matchup. Race number three, Battle of the Grand Sports. Mr. Christie going up against Scooter Roundwell in the convertible, going up against the FTE. They are door handle the door handle all the way down the first. Whoa! Where is the FTE going down there? Mr. Christie's going for a ride. Can't tell if that was uh, Mr. Roundwell. Give him a little push out to the side, but he's down in the crowd. Uh-oh, we're going to have to get our crews down there and make sure everything is okay. Doesn't look like he hit anybody. We uh, remarkably made it over top of that rail right there without casualties. That is what we like to hear here. Checking out the jump cam. 
We're going to call them both at 29 because they're blocking out the view. They sailed through at exactly the same time. Convertible up against the FTE. Door handle to door handle. Look at that, eh? That's a beauty straight run into the ramp cam. One pointing up, one pointing down, coming through there and right there. Looks like he hit the Unimog. Then he comes off and hits the ice and somehow doesn't kill anybody at the finish line. Good stuff. Scooter Roundwell gets race number three in the 65 Grand Sport. Race four. Moving on to race number four. Lane switch. 67 Grand Sport is in lane two this time. Here they go. FDE is pulling out front and cuts into the 65. Scooter Roundwell is up on his lid. Mr. Christie is coming through all by himself doing a little break dance at the end of the line. Scooter Roundwell coming out of the crash racer's corner was not able to get back up on his wheels. Slides to a stop right there. Mr. Christie coming out of the bottom corner. Does a little break dance over the line. Getting all flippy flippy. Checking out the jump cam. That was another nice long huge freaking jump. Comes in at 31 centimeters from what we can tell. Still haven't got the extra lines painted on the landing ramp there. Iggy replay. Battle of the Grand Sports. And right there you can see Mr. Christie dirty moved. Scooter around well coming right off the bottom of the main stretch. Comes down through the 3D bot maker corner real fast. Comes over the finish line rolling. Still able to stick the landing at the end. 1967 Grand Sport with the FTEs. Ties it up one apiece. Race five. All right, here we go. Final race for the second match tonight. Mr. Christie, lane number one. Scooter Roundwell, lane number two. Door handle to door handle, all the way through the corner again. Scooter is getting a little squirrely. Mr. Christie got a little squirrely over the line, but he makes it over the line first. Ouch! And look at that, eh? <laughs> Scooter Roundwell comes by, gives Mr. Christie a little tap off the end there. Looks like he just slowed down after the 3D bot maker corner. Wasn't able to keep his momentum up through there. Let's go check out the jump cam. Didn't quite get them both in the same shot. Mr. Christie comes in at 24 centimeters and we didn't get a measurement on Scooter Roundwell. That's a tricky camera to get. Igloo replay. Nice and even coming down the main stretch. Mr. Christie's holding on to that little slight lead he had just enough to Bump the front end out of Scooter Roundwell. He goes around. Mr. Christie goes around, but he's waiting for that final stretch to go around on just to see if there is anybody behind him. Gives him a little puppy roll at the end, and that wraps it up for this two out of three. And uh, there's Scooter Roundwell giving his uh, appreciation. Still good tight races tonight. Winner of race number five, 67 Grand Sport. Mr. Christie is moving on with those FTEs. Scooter Roundwell from Team Spirit of 64 is eliminated. Race six. First round winner, Mad Max in the 2020 Corvette. Match two winner, Mr. Christie in the 67 FTE. Here they go. Two out of three tonight, we got Bad Match way out front in that 2020 Corvette in our first race and pulls over top of the line with a 10.38. Respectable. Checking out the chase cam going down the midsection. They are racing. Actually, they were uh, both pretty smooth through all that. Checking out the jump cam. Except Mr. Christie's backwards. <laughs> 27 centimeters for Mad Max going through. Mr. Christie in reverse. 19 centimeters in the FTE. Checking out the igloo replay. Let's see what happened there. Both of them are nice and even. 2020 Corvettes pulling out a little bit at the bottom end. Did we mention that that 2020 Corvette is the only matchbox in the field tonight, by the way, folks? That is a Hot Wheels FTE and the 2020 mid-engine Corvette 
Matchbox representing tonight by Mad Max Inside That End. Little tap at the end. Good stuff. Mad Max representing Team Mayhem takes race number six in the 2020 Corvette. Race, race seven. Mad Max got the first race out of this two out of three. Moving on to the race number two. Let's see how this works out. One of those ones, Mr. Christie needs to get this in that FTE if he wants to stay alive. And he is doing just that. Right over top of the line, gets a 10.38 was able to stay ahead of Mad Max in the 2020 Corvette this time, but it was tight. They were close all the way through that. Good, fast racing is what we're all about here at Beaverworks. Going over to the jump cam, checking out how these guys are performing in the air. 24 centimeters for the FTE, 26 centimeters, a little bit extra for the 2020 Matchbox Corvette coming up in behind there. Checking out Igloo Replay. They're both even coming out of there. And then FTE starts pulling out ahead just a little bit. They're still staying right beside each other all the way through that corner. And he shuts the door just at the last minute. Coming over top of the ramp and holds onto it. They both get a tap on the side at the same time mirroring each other all the way down. Good stuff. That was a good race. All the drivers tonight are putting on a good show. That was Mr. Christie, 67 Grand Sport. Race number seven winner. Race eight. Ties it up in between these two. This is the final race of the night. Mad Max lane number one, Mr. Christie lane number two. Side by side, all the way down, they're coming through, and Mad Max is out ahead, spins around, takes a look where Mr. Christie is, does it again at the end, gets over the finish line backwards with a 10.63 time. What a nice, nice job these guys have been putting on for us tonight. That has been some good tight racing. Checking out the jump cam, backwards he's through there. Mr. Christie's right in behind him. 24 centimeters for the 2020 Corvette. FTE, 22 centimeters. Igloo replay. This was not the fastest run of the night, but these two were putting on a show. Rubbing is racing, folks. Let's see where that first corner right there. You can see there's a little bit of contact. It was enough to get Mad Max all the way around in that 2020 Corvette to take a look. Still making it down the back straight. One more time just for fun. Blows it all the way around over top of the line. Mr. Christie's in there sliding around behind him. They were close. That was some good tight racing, but winner. Mad Max in the 2020 Corvette. That means Mr. Christie from Team Mr. Christie Racing is eliminated. Moving on to the final round. 2020 Corvette Mad Max from Team Mayhem representing Matchbox over top of a field of Hot Wheels tonight. Hats off to our other drivers from Mr. Christie Spy Dude making the excellent run right here as he gets underneath there. Scooter around well, giving us some door handle to door handle action with that FTE. Beauty job done by all of the racers tonight in our first tournament here at the Igloo Proving Grounds, Igloo Main Track. Loving it. Beaverworks Diecast Racing shoutouts this week. Going out to Chaos Canyon with the Diecast Racing News, Canyon Outlaws, and the uh, Mustang Memorial racing they got going on there commotion diecast for their uh, inaugural tournament that's going on that's awesome stuff kit kham and the diecast racing report monthly magazine online check that out and redline derby racing your online source for everything you need to know in the diecast racing world check it out also don't forget to stop by next saturday when we get the group 
see drivers getting ready to try out the Igloo Proving Grounds. Oh, yeah. Hope to see you all there. And then thank you all very much for watching our stuff this week from Beaverworks Diecast Racing. We will see you next time.